بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم والصلاۃ والسلام علی سیدنا محمد اللہ معنی اعوذ بك من الشیطان الرجیم ام دیر از لائک اے بردر ہو کال می لائک ٹو ڈیز اگو اینڈ ہی لائک ہی وانٹیڈ سم ایڈوائس اباؤٹ a family member one of his daughter was having like um, some problems in a way that uh, she would like as he narrated like she would get blood spots on her body fresh blood and some symbols uh, for example on her cheek he said she would get out of nowhere a plus sign made out of fresh blood and then sometimes uh, he would find her, uh, her her clothes cut from different places in a circular way or like properly cut not not torn properly cut and then um, other things other symptoms he told like uh, her hair would fall and she would get it yeah she would get cuts uh, on her body on different places out of nowhere although she would um, she, when when she 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 has never been uh, in contact with a blade or something so um, he was asking about uh, the right person to go to to find the cure for this uh, i would have not talked about this but this these kinds of uh, things are becoming commonplace and a lot of households are seeing problems like that and obviously one naturally thinks that this is some kind of voodoo or black magic uh, that is being done uh, on one of the family members uh, which which certainly is the case but it is important that we must not try to blame who who did this black magic on you because under the influence of black magic the worst thing they want is to make you fight your own people the worst thing the magic does is to make the spouses fight with each other quarrel with each other and have bad thoughts about the ones you love and the ones who love you so first things first that you don't have to um, blame anyone or even try to find who did that on you because this is something totally invisible allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept it in a way and we should rather not try to uncover uh, this invisible Uh, thing uh, because like I said if you keep doing that you would end up uh, in the wrong place and you would end uh, you probably uh, end up harming or or quarreling with the wrong person uh, however it is important to 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 find a solution for this and there are a lot like there are lots of people on the internet uh, physically you would find them all around all over the world in islamic um, countries this is like very common practice that there would be people who would claim to be the spiritual healers there would be people uh, who would who would practice black magic voodoo and different kind of things and they uh, they, they they claim to be able to solve um, such kinds of problems so second first advice is not to find who did that second advice is not to go to any such person because if you end up going to a a magician or a person who practices uh, haram things uh, you would end up losing your iman because going to a magician uh, is kufr and also believing in the fortune tellers and the future tellers um, uh, the ones who do it the wrong way 
uh, is also a form of kufr it 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 um, it can lead you uh, out of your iman it can lead you out of your uh, islam uh, so second thing is not to do that third thing is to to find a cure to this problem that's our point today so the cure of these things is already present in Quran and Hadith. Although Quran and Hadith and the sayings of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam should be enough for us, um, but sometimes we need um, some backing uh, from our experiences as well. So I can tell you from uh, can tell you firsthand that the things I'm going to tell you are are experienced by myself and my family members firsthand and we know they work and any worse kind of uh, magic and it, its effects totally go away uh, through uh, through this uh, these these um, uh, small things i am going to mention so uh, now when when coming to the cure the first thing is that it is important to know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in quran a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem wa ma asabakum bi musibatin fa bima kasabat aydikum that there is no harm that comes to you unless you earn it by your own bare hands so whatever has fallen upon you is possibly because of your own actions your deeds and either it be magic, either it be, God forbid, a road accident, a disease, a sickness, or an, an enemy taking over, or a joblessness, or anything, it, there is some kind of problem uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to cure ourselves from, to fix uh, ourselves. Otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have uh, let us do whatever we are, whatever we are doing, whatever we were doing. And we would only know when we reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, which, which would be really bad. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us hints uh, by giving us some trouble so we can, uh, we can repent and we can, we, can, um, we can go towards Allah's path and leave our uh, way, sinful ways. So first of all is try to figure out what that problem is and seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, even if you realize that what problem is what that problem is or not either way because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the final messenger of Allah he used to he used to repent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, 70 or 100 times every day he used to say astaghfar or astaghfirullah 70 to 100 times every day so uh, that's what we need to do as well because why uh, first of all because prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did that secondly uh, allah tells in quran a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem fa qultu astaghfiru rabbakum innahu kana ghaffara yursil as-samaa alaykum midrara wa yumdidkum bi amwalin wa banin wa yaj'al lakum anhara that if you repent or if you keep on seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or if you keep on saying astaghfirullah then what will happen your lord will forgive you and give you money but yum didkum bi amwal give you money financial support and Allah will help you with with human power and Allah will help you so much that Allah will make the streams uh, run for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the worst streams or uh, whatever streams Allah knows. Uh, Allah would, would start them for you. So, uh, Astaghfirullah, you have to recite. And it's sh like, it shouldn't be once or twice or a couple of times at least a hundred times more is good as well one thing uh, second thing is uh, you have to recite suratul kahf uh, first 10 ayahs it is the 18th surah 18th chapter of quran first 10 ayahs in the morning and the last 10 in the evening so you so you bracket your day uh, within suratul kahf and 
so why is that because prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned in several hadith that uh, Surah Al-Kahf should be recited against the attacks of the Jal. In some I, in some uh, narrations, we get to know about the first ten ayahs, and in some others, we now we are we, we get to know the last ten ayahs. So it's better to enclose your day, um, open the day with uh, the first ten ayahs, and close it with the uh, with the last ten ayahs of Surah Al-Kahf. Inshallah, your day would be much better. Uh, through this and uh, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa also said that whoever recites Surah Al-Kahf on Friday he will have a light he will have a nur until next Friday and he will be saved he will have he will he will have a refuge uh, from all kinds of tribulations uh, fitnas until next Friday even if so much so that even if the Jal appears in this time uh, he would be saved from the Jal so, uh, you see, um, Surah Al-Kahf is very important. Recite Surah Al-Kahf on Friday and, and close your day with first 10 and last 10 ayahs of Surah Al-Kahf uh, every day, inshallah. So, we have two things so far, Astaghfirullah, 100 times daily, Surah Al-Kahf, bracket your day uh, with Surah Al-Kahf. And also it is very good to recite Surah Al-Kahf on Friday and memorize the first 10 and last 10 ayahs of Surah Al-Kahf. Third thing, Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to recite three uh, chapters, three surahs of Quran every night. Those were Qul Hu Allah Wa Ahad, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falaq, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas. These three, like this is the last three. Uh, surahs, chapters of uh, Quran and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to recite them blow uh, on his hand and then um, then then put put his uh, hands around the body wherever they would reach uh, so to save himself from shayateen uh, from Biblis and his attacks uh, so uh, the last two surahs are also the ones uh, who were sent by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala as a cure to black magic that some some Jew uh, woman practiced on Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it was finally cured because of these two uh, last uh, surahs of Quran. And so, um, so this thing is the third one that we have to do. First one is astaghfirullah hundred times a day. Number two, bracket your day with the first ten and last ten. Um, Ayahs of Surah Al-Kahf. Uh, third thing is recite uh, three surahs of uh, uh, last three surahs of Quran every night. It's better to recite them a hundred times every day and uh, and recite uh, durood and salam on Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the end. Uh, that is a salatu wa salamu alayka ya Muhammad or any other durood that you want. <clears throat> uh, so. Uh, these are three things if you keep on doing that inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep you safe from all kinds of fitan and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah slowly cure um, all these problems or uh, satanic attacks or black magic uh, inshallah it would be cured uh, all you have to do is make sure that you do think these things regularly and and have a firm belief that these would work and um, um, it is also very good to 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 recite adhan um, uh, uh, within your house in a loud voice uh, this also repels all, all kinds of uh, spells all kinds of uh, uh, setting attacks inshallah we keep if we keep doing these things uh, we hope that uh, all kinds of problems um, would be solved may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all from all kind of fitan may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us safe from uh, shayateen black magic voodoo and all kinds of uh, tribulations inshallah uh, wassalatu wassalamu ala sayyidina muhammad